So we've got a pier down here if you want to go down the pier, babe. How far is it? <laughs> Don't start. <laughs> Don't start. Oh. Yeah, I, I, they were going to give me crabs and I was going to pay for it. Give me in rush, YouTubers. <laughs> <Yay>. <laughs> Kim looks pretty good up against that, doesn't she? What? A couple more stubby, she will look excellent, I reckon. Yeah. Kim is out there. I can say anything about her that I want now. The old scrag she is. You reckon she'll ever get off her motorbike one time and go in? You got any rooms, have you? <laughs> Fucking I got her. Yeah, that's what she'd do. I can leave this city. Let's drive to the open air. Yeah, the countryside is so pretty. Okay then, so it had to happen, didn't it? I lost some audio footage. So we leave Corn after that great time there. Great mountains here, it's a great road. We're heading down towards Cow. But first, through Port Augusta, then on towards Wyala. That is where we have a bit of lunch, and then keep going to Cow. Well, right, so we're about to leave Wyala. We just had a bite to eat there, didn't we, babe? We did. And um, we're going to head down to Cow. We don't know what's there, but we'll soon find out, won't we, babe? Sure will, because we're booked in for the night. Yep. We're just rocking up to Cow in South Australia. Town centre's this Turn way, please. Left. Oh, okay. look at the big silos over there. See? This is the town. I don't know where the town is. No, up this street up on the left. Sip and save there, babe. Save. Like corn, isn't it? You got your indicator on? Yep. It's a bit like corn. No, it's a bit bigger, babe. Oh, yeah. So, this is cow, guys. Cow is known for one of the best fishing destinations in Australia. 48 square kilometres of calm fish field waters. Does this sound like heaven to you? Cow, which sits on the edge of Franklin Harbour, has developed a reputation as one of the best destinations for fishing in the country. Whiting, snapper, tommy ruff, snook, flathead, garfish and squid are just some of what you can catch in these waters. Crabs can be caught day and night in the shallows and oysters are also farmed in the harbour. And that's the kind of place Cow is. A place for relaxation where the pace is slow and the locals are friendly. Just a good holiday atmosphere. Here we are. We're actually in a caravan park tonight, aren't we, babe? We are in this caravan park, yes. Big things going. They've got a jetty out there, babe. We'll have to go for a walk. Where? Right out the end there. I don't think we can get through that yeah, construction. You can. Yeah, you can. Of course you can. Right, so we'll just have a look around our little caravan park for the night. Oh, sorry, guys, forgot to tell you where we were. Yeah. Where are we, babe? Um, cow. Cow. Cow for place. C O W E double L. -L. Yeah, that's the one. That's Fairly empty here, here, actually. Okay. We should have brought the caravan. Should have. Hey, this is not bad little area. Where's it, babe? I wonder if there's any crabs in there. Get in there and have a look see if there's any crabs, but Man said there was blue swimmer crabs in there. Oh, yeah, he's been uh, catching them off the end of the wharf and that. So it must be a popular little area, mustn't it? Hi, folks, just to remind that this is a lawned area. While we welcome dogs at the park, we don't welcome them. OK. Right, Stay I'm not Stay there, babe. Stay right there. <laughs> I'm not allowed in here. Yeah. This here is the main street of Cow. She's happening on the Pretty corner. Pretty little street. Now that pub there reminds me of Victor Harbour on the corner. So we've got a pier down here if you want to go down the pier, babe. How far is it? Don't start. <laughs> don't start. Oh. She knows we're going there anyway, so I don't know why she says it. Well, I don't know why you ask then if you well, think you know. I just like to make it sound good, babe. Polite. You'll follow me. You don't know when else in this town. No, <laughs> true. <laughs> The only friend you've got, which is sad to say, is me. Oh, the flies. So there's big developments. Look, building better regions. 
Kim has it. I think that there is going to be a water park by the looks of that. Looks like it. Yes. Put equipment that one over the back there. Do you know what that big thing down the bottom there is going to be? Building something big there. We don't know what boat. Could be a restaurant boat. Who knows? They're not putting a real good effort in. There's three people there. The foreshore will see the construction of a commercial building, which would become a food hall and a liquor licensing and emphasis on local seafood. A marina with 30 permanent berths, 10 visitor berths and a building will be constructed to attract boat tourism. Also, a 1.5 million aquatic playground, a bouncy pillow, basketball court, landscaping for parks in the wetland area. This is their boat ramp. I don't think I really need to tell you that though. There's a jetty down there. We've just made the executive decision of we're not going out there. No one's out there. We thought we might have seen someone out there, didn't we, babe? No one With out there. With some swimmer crabs. Kim was going to try and get one off them. Yeah, I was. She was offering to pay for it too. Yeah, I, I, they were going to give me crabs and I was going to pay for it. <laughs> You're going to give her crabs. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you want to pay for crabs? <laughs> you can pick them up anywhere for free, I know, oh, go figure. <laughs> hey, when we first got here off the bikes, I was talking to an old mate here. Old mate come past with a pot in his hand, saying hello, where we're from and all this sort of stuff. He said he'd been here for five or six weeks. I said, why well, have you been here for so long? He said, oh, the blue swimmer crabs. And I thought to myself, well, people must like them, mustn't they, mate? Must do. Yeah. They must yeah. pay for He's them. been here five or six weeks. He's probably funding his trip. Catching them out on the pier, he said. Mm-hmm. Anyway, hello. Is that sideways? Uh, Is yes. Is that better? Is that better, guys? <laughs> yes. Yeah. I thought it was a bit sideways. There's a swimming pool. I thought I'd already had one too many to drink. Uh, I might go visit old mate next door and get one off him. <laughs> <laughs> get some crabs off the old guy. Yeah. Right. So we're in the main street of Cow. Not bad little street this, is it? Big, biggest place there in this town. Yeah, it's, right it's a hotel. It's a museum. A museum there. Old butter churn, maybe. Kim grew up with a lot of that stuff there. Yeah, so did you. Yeah, that old bloody ring of things. And, yeah, with the old washing machine there, babe. To inspect the display, inquire at the council. First building on the left or after hours. And, uh, Kim can read. She's really progressed on this holiday. She Where's really the has. council in? I don't know, probably right here, is it? It's an old little town, isn't it, babe? It is. Except for the IGA, that looks a bit out of place. It does look a bit out of place. Yeah, there's a cafe. I do like these old streets and that with the old verandas and everything, the old shops. Yeah. They look good, don't they, babe? They do. Yeah. Looks like we've only got the one pub in town, so we might have to go and book for a meal. I know we've got something up here. Bikes up here, too. Nice bikes, eh, guys? Very nice. Got a big donk in there, babe. Yeah, mine. Yep, very nice. Oh, that's pretty. It is, that is pretty. That's not one of the new ones, is it? It is. The classic, oh, it is too. It is, it's one of the revivals. Very oh, it nice. is, yeah. revival. Very nice. One of the new revivals. This is a 2021 Haven't one. seen one up close and personal yet. Yeah. Cool. So, those blokes over there just hopping on those bikes, we've just been talking to them for about 20 minutes, haven't we, babe? Yep. With the old commercial hotel. Bloody beautiful, isn't it, babe? Yeah. Absolutely glorious. They're about to hop on their bikes. And there they go. <laughs> yeah. And there goes the Heritage Revival. And we're, we're missing one. Is it's, that the slow one, babe? No. This is the fast one coming up. Here he comes. There we go. It's the nicest blokes in the world, weren't they? Oh, yeah. Three of the nicest blokes in the world. They really are. And one of the blokes that we're talking to had that revival. Very lucky to get it. It's number 348. Here he comes. Yeah. Jimmy and Russ, YouTubers. Yay. <laughs>
They went the other way. <laughs> They'll probably know where yeah. they're catching up with him. Well, after standing in the hot sun talking to those bikers for a while, we thought we'd better not walk past the pub. Well, why would you? Look at the views. So we sat here for a while and had a few drinks. And after all, it was only about 100 metres around the corner to our caravan park. Hello, babe. Hello, We're babe. back, aren't we? <laughs> hello, babe. What are you saying hello, babe? For? Hello, babe. Say hello, uh, babe. <laughs> we're sitting here currently in front of the yellow submarine. That's what we call it, isn't we? Yes. We have pulled up a cow tonight in South Australia. Nice little town. It sounds like cow, but I think it's cow C-O-W-E. I don't care. We left corn. We're here. We're on the Air Peninsula and we're heading down. We might. And uh, we've just come back from the main street and um, we've been at both pubs. We've got two pubs here, we've been at both pubs. And we've been talking to Roger and Bev. They're in a caravan. Just over there somewhere, over the back of there. But well, we had a couple of beers with them down the street and we're going out with tea with them tonight, aren't we? Hello. Fancy inviting Kimmy Rush Adventures out. People usually shy away from us, don't they? They do. They do. <laughs> well, we think it's amazing. But anyway, that, that, we're that, stoked that, that someone's actually <laughs> wanting to go to tea with us. <laughs> From stoked. no friends at the silo up tonight, and we can't bloody, you know, you know, we can't get rid of them now. Yeah. Also met some very nice bikers down the street too, which, if you watched our videos, you would have seen that by now. So, this is our place for the night. This is our, our back door. Like I said, that's a yellow submarine. Kim looks pretty good up against that, doesn't she? Cut more stubby, she will look excellent, I reckon. Yeah, you <laughs> yeah. That's what I mean. The yeah, there's our bike right there. Right there. And this is our unit. Right here. There's the heads out. Kimmy's out there. I can say anything about her that I want now. The old scrag she is. She's just a fucking old scrag to take on the road for long trips with you. I tell you. Enough's enough, I tell you. I'm just about at it. She's not coming, so I can say what I want. <laughs> right, there's our bunks. No fucking kids here, though, don't you worry. There's the old love nest. We, we got everything. Look, I oh, know, guys. Look, it looks old, doesn't it? It looks old. But $88. And, you know, I think you could have bargained down to 85 They do the 88 so that you can knock a little bit off. But you didn't even try it. Do you... Do you reckon she'll ever fucking book into a cab? Do you reckon she'll ever get off her motorbike one time and go in? You got any rooms, have you? You fucking <laughs> ain't got her. Yeah, that's what she'd do. Me. That's why. That's why I prefer to go less violent than what she is. We were going to pay 120 for a different one. If you do the maths, that's a car. And we talk in cartons, me and Kim do, all the time. I'll just take you out here and show you our little ensuite. It is little too. Right, there you go. There's the shit. It's fucking hot out here. He's all rusty. He's rocking it there tonight. What, babe? There's the shower. What? I'm in the toilet because we can't flush. Somebody ran into the water pipe. Yeah, no, that's true. We can't flush at the moment. We can't flush at the moment because, you know, I've worked things out on holidays. This is what I've worked out. Kimmy, Kim, Kimmy goes to the toilet. And you know what? You know how good she is for me? She leaves a bit of paper in the bottom of the toilet. So when I go to the toilet, I can aim for that bit of paper. I must piss over the bowl at home or something. But she leaves a bit of tape paper in the bottom. And you know what that is? That's like, that's like waving a red flag at a bull for a bloke to go to a urinal. Now, if there's something there, you ain't put away. Put a marble in there. Yeah, put a what? No, 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 the paper, because it would dissolve. So you're looking after me, aren't you? Yeah. What are you eating? Oh, well, you're taking You're going out to tea long. soon. You're taking so long, I'm just going to know I've only had two out of there. Yeah. <laughs> All right, then, guys, we've got to go. We'll catch you on the road somewhere. And we're heading around the Air Peninsula, aren't we? Yeah, no, no, the plumbers, someone's backed Someone over. over. Our water's off at the moment. Someone's backed over. And yet, no, that's exactly it. right. Kim did not do it. No. Kim did not do it. We reckon these people next door have done it, haven't we? Yeah, it was fine when we pulled in. Yeah. Okay. 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 Say goodbye, mate. So we're about to leave our cabin at Cow, aren't we, my darling? Yeah. And we're heading down the Air Peninsula a bit further. Is so, it air or airy? Air. 
We'll go the long way. You coming? Yeah, I'm just getting my kickstand out of the dirt. Thought I was going out without it for a minute there, guys. I was lucky as lucky could be. <laughs> uh, until she started coming. Anyway, we'll go in around this way and we... First stop petrol. First stop petrol. Okay, babe? Sure. So we had a good little stay there, met some great friends, didn't we, sweetie? We did. Absolutely fantastic. We had a ball of a time with them. The hero next door wasn't too friendly, though. Hero is the dog, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Not when we stay at home late. <laughs> no. Was it, babe? He wasn't happy. <laughs> he wasn't happy, but never mind. So we definitely need fuel because there's no fuel for another 150 k's, they tell us. So this is the little town that we showed you yesterday of Cow on the Air Peninsula down past Wyala. There's our pub we ate in on the right. Yes, we ate there didn't we? That's where we met our biker friends. Hi. Okay guys, look at the silos here. We never took you around to show you this so I hope you can see it on the camera. Pretty good, eh? Not bad. Cam There's a camel and a man and a bird. Yeah. Cool. And that is in Cal, South Australia. Okay guys, so we're coming in Darno Bay, here on the Air Peninsula. Just after Cal. So this is Arno Bay supermarket. I don't think there's a real lot here. But we're gonna proceed in and have a look. Foresaw Recreation. They don't say this. Oh yeah, there's food down here too by the looks of it. Jetty, Jetty Cafe. Yeah, right. Well, we'll go down and have a look, won't we? We will. So, which way are we going? Straight ahead, hey? Yeah. Or is it? Yeah, straight ahead. There's a caravan park to the right, so... Right. Well, there you go, cafe there, babe, Jetty Cafe. Well, yeah. we might go in there, eh? Do you want to have a look up the road here first? Yes, I am, babe, yes. <laughs> <laughs> They thought we were a truck, babe. They probably <laughs> thought they probably heard your tractor coming. Yeah, probably. Well, my horn sounds like a friggin' truck horn, so I tooted it out. Is that him. only one way that way? Uh, I think so. There's the jetty there. We'll go down here. Let's we'll just have a little boat peek, eh? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're at Arno Bay. That's the caravan park over there, to the right. We're just going to go out here and have a little bit of a boat peek at the bay, aren't we, sweetie? Yeah, it looks pretty. As in a lot of South Australian places, it looks pretty good, doesn't it? Hey, that's the old pier. It's not a real lot here, but not a bad little place. We were looking at staying here. I'm glad we stayed at Cow. It's got more facilities. Yeah. It's not bad, is it? Pretty good. It'd be nice and relaxing in that caravan park and that there. There is a pub here, so that's a good thing. That is. Yeah. <laughs> right there, isn't it? Over there yeah. to the left, yes. Yeah. Right there. There's Kimmy up there. She's been a naughty little girl up there. She's got my phone, and she's been clicking buttons on and on me and my GoPro. Click, 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 click. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't know what she's doing, but she's touching things. She could be changing settings, couldn't she, Darren Sale? Then I'll go to film, and then I won't know what's going on. This little town is a hidden gem on the east coast of the peninsula. Arno Bay's peaceful atmosphere and mild climate make it a great getaway any time of the year. A caravan park situated right near the beach is a fisherman's haven and the great community atmosphere means you'll feel right at home. You can catch kimfish and huge snapper or just throw in the line off the jetty. Grab something to eat at the local cafe, which is where we went to for brekkie. Okay, so we're just going to go for a, a quick spin into Port Neal to have a look. Yeah, they've got petrol. Yeah. They did say there was no petrol for 150 kilometres, didn't they, babe? They did. It's right. a liberty. Yeah. But right, so we're going to have a look. We're in Port Neal. Just coming into the outskirts here now of the town. What's here we do not know, do we, babe? We'll find but, out. But they did have some pictures on the way in, didn't they? And they look pretty. Mind you, if, 
If I, if I want to take a pretty photo, I'll just take a photo of my missus. Oh, how sweet. She's a heritage, 2018, <laughs> classic. <laughs> That's what she is, babe. Yep. <laughs> you ride her every day. We've got a bit of activity down to the left down there, so we'll go down there and around and have a look at the foreshore. Right, little town. Everyone's gone somewhere else. They have. Down the pub. Pub, damn it. And they've got a big pier too, sweetie. Yeah, that's what I said. I've seen it. Not Australia's longest wood pier, though. No, babe. Oh. The beach looks nice, doesn't it? It does. We'll, we'll go for a little wander and have a look. We are down at... Port Neal, we've called into. We're on the way to Port Lincoln, aren't we, sweetie? Yep. And this is the foreshore area of Port Neal. A couple of grey clouds coming across at the moment. Pubs over the road there, so they've got a fantastic view, haven't they? Yes. Kimmy, do you reckon you know how to use this? Yeah. What? Yeah. Go on then, use it. Use it. Use it, babe. Don't use it, I'll abuse it. <laughs> hey, this is a nice little area, isn't it? Nice little, well maintained, isn't it? Might go to that toilet. Okay then. Do you want that GoPro in with you? No. Okay. We've got a beautiful little beach down here. Hmm. There's an anchor there, sweetie. Huh? There's a walking trail. A ship or something must have went down somewhere. What's Lady who? Franklin? No, Lady Kinnard. Kinnard? Yeah. Oh. The Lake Lady Kinnard Walk Trail follows the coastline south from the jetty over the headland beaches to the edge of the golf course, where a seat overlooks the side of the wreck of the Lady Kinnard. Well, so, so I gather that's the anchor Oh, offer. here, Burns Bay. Yeah. I don't think we'll be walking there. It's 4.5 kilometres. We're we walking? No. Oh, I didn't <laughs> think so. Well, that's the anchor off, guys. Wow. Wow. Welcome to Port Neal Jetty, babe. This one is not as long as the last one. No, it isn't. <laughs> is it? Go down there and get your exercise, babe. Nah, look at the beautiful white beach, though. Yeah, it's lovely. Here in Port Neal. Look at those this, houses there. They'd be good, wouldn't they? This is what we've seen from the road over there. So that's the jetty there. It'd be a nice, quiet little getaway. Plenty of things to do here, fishing and all that sort of stuff and there's hiking trails in and around all the way hiking trails go all the way up around there and that so it wouldn't be a bad little place yeah. more importantly it's got a pub we do like a pub don't we babe? we do yes. it's a necessity it's a necessity somewhere to buy your alcohol beverages from hey then guys we'll go back to the bike oh kim's got to go to the toilet and um we'll catch you back on the road when we back yep okay Port Neal is a small coastal holiday town located on the Spencer Gulf in an area known for its incredible white sands and aquamarine seas. Historically a grain port, today the town is a small, out of the way place far removed from the pressures of more modern communities. The quiet beauty of the town and its easy laziness make it ideal for fishing from the jetty, swimming in the quiet waters and walking along the beaches. So we're still travelling on down the Lincoln Highway, going towards Port Lincoln. The scenery has changed a fair bit now, hasn't it? A lot of rolling hills and pastures now. Well, not rolling hills, but rolling pastures. A lot more farm crop and land now. Instead of that shrubby ship we had back up the road, wasn't it, babe? Yeah. Yeah, it's a little bit more water, obviously, down this way. A bit more developed. It's a very straight road down through here, though, isn't it, babe? It is. <laughs> a nice road though, very nice. And the ocean is just over to our left. Yes it is, we're virtually following it down, aren't we? Yep. Yeah. I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting. But then you came along and proved me all wrong, I was so mistaken. Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try